I am Michael Ratner. I'm the president of the Center for Constitutional Rights. Thank you all for being here with us today. Today is a day of protest. It's a day of protest against the continuation of Guantanamo. Five years ago, a small band of us got together to say, the U.S. should not be running a law-free zone at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. It's illegal, it's unconstitutional, and it violates the moral and legal stand the United States should have. The, the Bush administration that, that doesn't get, just doesn't get it. Law-free zones are simply unacceptable in America and in a world that would wants to call itself civilized or on the page of law in any respect. Today there remain 395 people in Guantanamo. Some 380 people have been released, partly as a result of incredible pressure from foreign countries, partly as a result of the pressure uh, from the litigation. But we will not be satisfied until everybody at Guantanamo has a right to a hearing in which they can demonstrate, in which the government must demonstrate, the reasons why they are holding it. In 2002, Guantanamo was illegal, and those of us at the center and our colleagues who filed the first case on behalf of detainees challenging their detention recognized that the laws on their face were illegal, that the imprison imprisonment itself was illegal. In 2004, when I got to go to the base and finally meet with two British citizens who were imprisoned in isolation in Camp Echo, we again recognized that not only was the imprisonment illegal, but their isolation and their torture and abuse was illegal as well. It is 2007. At this point, Guantanamo has become not only a legal issue, but a moral failure. In 2007, our country is engaging in an act of immorality that is undeserving of our country and undeserving of humanity. I stand here as one of few civilian individuals who has been able to go to Guantanamo and sit across a table with a man who was shackled to the floor, who's been held for five years and had very little contact with his family. Standing amongst you are also other lawyers who have had the same experience. Some of us have had to have told men about the death of their parents over these five years, about the birth of children that they have not seen, and in some cases about the death of a child. In five years, a great deal of life goes by, and we have had to sit there with our clients and endure it. If there are people in Guantanamo who should be tried, if there is a terrorist in Guantanamo, we have a military criminal system and a civilian criminal system that could give them a trial tomorrow. If anyone was ever convicted in Guantanamo, they could be held in one of many existing military prisons or, c or civilian criminal prisons. We don't need the facade. There is no reason in 2007 for Guantanamo to be open. It is unnecessary, it is ineffective, and it has been unconscionable.